AIDS. The dreaded disease was still recently thought to be an essentially Western affliction. But in 1986, the scenario changed in India with the published report on an AIDS victim. Since then, it has emerged as a serious public health threat, staring the nation starkly in the face. WHO in its recent reports has indicated that India, among other countries, might in the coming years have the largest number of AIDS cases in the world. To tackle this problem, the government and the voluntary agencies have to take drastic measures. देखिए जैसे बॉम्बे में है सिल्वर टाकीज के पास बड़ा मशहूर इनका ठिकाना है और वहाँ पर वैश्यों की आमदनी से ज़्यादा हिजड़ों की आमदनी है टोली में से निकले हुए ऐसे लोग भी आए जो परेशान थे और उन्होंने बताया कि क्योंकि वहाँ सेक्स का ही काम हमको ज़्यादा करना पड़ता है तो वो परेशान होकर उस टोली को छोड़ आए लेकिन उसके बाद कोई ठिकाना नहीं मिला उनको are major contributors along with other sex workers in spreading this disease. Social workers and institutions are concerned over this issue and the law alone cannot restrain such social behavior. It is believed that a single eunuch is capable of transmitting the AIDS virus to 10 people every day through their homosexual activity. This is indeed alarming, taking into account the number of eunuchs operating as sex workers in major urban areas. Official reports as available from the government of Delhi AIDS control cell estimates that there will be 15,000 eunuchs in the city of Delhi. Unofficial reports says that out of these 15,000 eunuchs, 9,000 of them might be engaged in selling homosexual act. People who are homosexuals are more prone to get AIDS than people who are heterosexuals for multiple reasons because anal intercourse, there is more trauma to the uh, genital, local genital area where the sexual act is being taking place and there is more injury there and because of that the transmission of HIV transmission rate is very high. Any eunuch who is engaged in male prostitution, what we call them as male homosexuality, will be at risk of getting AIDS, also will be at risk of transmitting AIDS to the customer. Being illiterate, they are unaware of the consequences of AIDS. The government and voluntary social work organizations are coming forward with help and advice for them. But are they open to their advice? Yes, I had to go to one or two months ago. I had to send them to the treatment. Because their parents told us that we have to test blood tests. And the blood test was very important. कि किसी हिजड़े को चोट लगी थी और उसको वो ले गए थे ट्रीटमेंट के लिए वहाँ ब्लड के अंदर ऐसा मिला कि एचआईवी है तो उनको मैंने ट्रीटमेंट के लिए सलाह दी और भेजा लेकिन कुछ दिन बाद वो वहाँ से गायब हो गए बट ड्यू टू द बायोलॉजिकल डिफिशिएंसी इन ऑल दे 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 द प्रॉपर मेल सॉर्ट ऑफ under the international WHO guidelines, it's the duty of the government under the World Bank project where the government is getting its grant to supply, educate female prostitutes, to educate them about the threat of AIDS and also to, edu to supply them condoms and to educate them about the use of condoms. Similarly, male prostitution. In male prostitution, one of the group is UNEX. They need to be educated. They need to be supplied condoms as a part of program. They need to be taken into confidence. The public has to be educated simultaneously also.